Day has finally got here, day eight. Kinlock leaving to Fort William. Approximately 16 miles, I think. So, here we go, eh? I mean, if you look around now, all the um, race events pretty much all gone now. I mean, they've got, still got the tent up where they had the party, I think, last night. You might be able to see the Red Bull cans there. Might grab one of them, mate. <laughs> yeah, we walked down through there from the Blackwater camps on. Like I said, we had to get a taxi back to um, the ski centre because we just couldn't get no accommodation here because of the um, because of the run of the race. So we've just just landed. It's 20 past 10. We were a bit late than we wanted to be, but. You know, we were just held up by the taxi. But we're on our way now. A little look at the river. I think we've got a bit of a bit of a climb ahead of us when, when we come out of the village. But I think once you get up, up there, it's um, steady. Fingers crossed, eh? Catch you later. day eight finally. Apparently this is the last bit of hill that we've got to do and then apparently they said the last bit's plain sailing. Pausing workout. So I'm hoping Resuming workout. that's what's going to happen. This bit's a bit of a job but we've got 16 miles to do today. I think we've nearly done one mile. So 15 to go. Wish us luck. Well, we've just got to the, the turning point on the, on the hill. It took us about three quarters of an hour. Really, uh, got a bit of a dab on, sweating now. But all of a sudden, come off that rough terrain. Can you hear this? So, a bit of a relief. The rain's holding off, which is a bonus. I'm not sure how many miles it is to here, but I'm sure we've only probably done a, a mile and a half or something. I ain't getting the map out to have a look. Yeah, fed up with that map, Jane, yes. So, we'll catch you later. Well, we've been trekking about three miles now. I had a thin lock leaving. So, once you initial get out up that hill, it was about 40 minutes. It ain't too bad. Drain's pretty much like pebbly, pebbly streams. There's water just sort of running all through them. Because we had nothing but rain the whole week, really. But we're in good spirits still. The girls are happy now because I know it's the last day. We've still got a poncho thing on. I don't know if you can see in them far distance the path. But when we stuck us about 15 minutes to walk that. Because when we was down there we thought, God, how far is that? How far we've got to go? And then like, before you know it, I'm looking back down the other end. Jesus, we did it. So yeah, all good. We're still plodding on. This little path 
when you get to this, when you, when you eventually climb out of Pingma Cleveland, you join this, like, I think it's the old military road. It just goes on forever. I mean, the path, just pebbly, like I said before, goes on and on and on. If you look behind, that's where we've come from. The girls are just plodding on. Still winning! Still winning! I think that's a still winning by Ollie. Eating. So I'll leave the camera rolling in a couple of minutes while we walk down here. Just so you can get some sort of idea. Every time we're talking to me camber, the laugh. <laughs> what are you doing? Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm just talking to myself. I mean yesterday it was like this. Walking up the devil's staircase and then and then back down again, just walking in a river. The old paths are just like rivers. My feet were wet through yesterday. The first time I really got wet feet. Fe Say that again in English, shall I? First time I got wet feet all week. But you know, we was in that ski thing, so I managed to dry them out. Not too bothered today to get wet feet because the boots ain't going on again until the next one. But as far as these sticks go, I think they're all right. I've never used them before. I've had them on my back all week. Never used them. They certainly helped a little bit going uphill. And I suppose if you've got dodgy knees or something like that, ankles, they'd be, would certainly help you going on the down sections. I've not really been on the down section with them yet, so I can't really comment. If I had to say something about them, they are just something else to have with you. I mean, I've got that many, I've got you know, my camera, my GoPro. You've got your phone in your pocket if you have to get that out, and then you've got to mess with the map. I have brought my GPS, but that's just in my rucksack. I haven't, we haven't really needed it. This is really, really well way marked. I mean, I, I definitely say you need the map just to give you some pointers, but GPS forget it, won't need it. I think I've only used it once and that was when we was coming across the, the Loch Lomond section. I just used it to just to see how far we had left to go because that just kept on going and going and going. I didn't use it to actually, because I was lost or didn't know where to go, I just wanted to get a, an exact bearing where I was. Should have bought the waders. Catch you later on when something else interesting comes along.
well we're past the uh, eight mile point of the today's walk of 16 so we're halfway we're still meandering along these tracks quite pleasant really a bit stony underfoot mine but you know that's what it is isn't it the rain's been showery on and off most of the day it's holding off at the minute I'll just play the video a little a little while while we walk my stick seems to be doing the job I wouldn't say I'm a convert but you know I'm definitely not against them We've been going about three and a half hours, nearly, nearly pushing on four. We ain't making fantastic time. We ain't rushing. As long as we get back into Fort William before it's dark, that's all we're interested in. It's certainly not a, a hard walk, this section. It, the initial climb out of Kinglock leaving is a bit, it's a bit steep, a bit strenuous. But more, I think, because of the um, the miles in your legs you know, of, of the rest of the week. If you just turned up, if you just turned up for the day, you'd, you know, you'd, you'd stroll up. Rain's just coming again now. Let me hood back up. Hey, nice bit of flat path. But yeah, we're doing good. Speak to you later.
We're nearly there. I'm just ambling down this track towards the um, Nevis Centre. I believe it's, um, the Ben Nevis range is over there. Shrouded in the mist, like it's everything has been all week. Any <laughs> Jane? But are you still winning? We're still winning. The um, mountain rescue helicopter has been buzzing around for the last couple of hours. I don't know whether it's, you know, they're looking for someone or whether they're just probably just on manoeuvres. Just flying off now, but he's been hovering around for at least two hours. So, I mean, the last four or five miles, I've just been trying to enjoy the last few miles, really, just because we know we're coming coming to the end. I think once we get to the Nevis Centre, I think it's three miles. Done and dusted. I mean, the girls are all well happy when they get to the end. Jane's struggling a bit today, and he's hurting. But she's soldiering on like a good in. Holly's uh, trying to power her away. She just wants to get to the end. Right, see you later. I've just hit the road section, so we've just got the final final trudge into, into Fort William itself. The weather forecasters were bang on again, it's really pelting it down, which we knew it would by the time we got into Fort William. But, so, little trudge into town, and then the celebrations begin. the uh, calm after the storm so we say we um, got back six o'clock ish last night and it was absolutely bucketing it down like it is like it is now but uh, so we just we just crashed quick photo here last night and then we just straight straight to the hotel which is about five minutes down there so yeah we really enjoyed it the weather could have been better but you know like I said the other day it's, you get you get what you get Really enjoyed it. It was a fantastic trip, life experience. Just to come sit next to that man, 96 miles, just to come and meet you. So all in all, I'd say well worth it. I mean, it took us about seven hours to walk from Clinlock leaving to here. So 16 miles weren't too bad, really. I mean, especially because the um, the two girls blisters galore they are struggling this morning we had a couple of beers in the hotel some nice food and when we went to stand up again after about two two and a half hours sitting there god was stiff as boards but all in all well worth the trip if any of you guys out there want to do it fantastic more than welcome to ask us any questions we know by no means any experts but we have learned a few bits and bobs along the way see you a bit happy journeys